Big John here. I've come with the latest odds for the 1955 Gulf Tour for this year. It's a very exciting year and I'm very privileged to be able to offer you the book for the tour. So we're going to start off with Cabo Pino. So something about Cabo Pino first. It's 5,170 meters long. It's the shortest course for the tour. It's got a signature roll on the third, which where you tee off from a mountain down into the valley. You, you have to use all your clubs for this. So that's why I've put Mr. Drummond as the favorite for the first day. I expect Mr. Renton will push him a little, but I expect him to win. So, who's going to have a bad day on the first day? Well, Mr. Edwards still rankled after his appalling handicap will probably blow it. Mr. Albert hasn't played golf for about a year, so he'll probably blow it as well. But my favourite to have a bad day today is Alistair Thomas with his new clubs and his new swing and a disaster waiting to happen. So, that's Cabo Pino. Next, day two, Guadalhoche. So, this is a longer course, 6,194 meters. Lots and lots of out of bounds on the front nine. Lots of fast greens and Lots and lots of water. We know that Mr. Brown likes water. He likes day two as well. Check your statistics. So he's going to be in there. But my favorite to win is Philip Albury. He'll have remembered how to play. He's got an easy handicap. He's bound to win. Who's going to be down in the weeds? Well, I think, I think it'll be Mr. Armstrong. He's going to have a headache after too many drinks the night before. And I think Mr. Drummond, probably up a strip club, won't have got any sleep. He'll be feeling off as well. So I've got him as one of my favorites for a bad day at the office. And the last day, Santana. Wow, what a course. 6,207 meters! Wow! It's enormous! Did you know that the eighth hole is the longest hole on the whole of the Costa del Sol? It's over 600 meters! Wow! It's enormous! So, my favorite for this day is Mr. Armstrong with his great big swing. If he gets going, he won't be stopped. By day three, I'm thinking Mr. Edwards' handicap is finally cut. So he might well be challenging. So I've got him up there as well. But it's a long, long day. It's a lot of green. It's a lot of fairway. Who's going to struggle the most? Well, I think it's going to be Mr. Thomas again. 10,000 to 1. It's a good bet. So, Victor Lodoran. What are the odds? I, rather unsurprisingly, have put Mr. Drummond as a favourite. I think Mr. Albury might be a bandit again this year, so I put him on the same odds. Kopsu? Well, I've got three people in contention. The ridiculously handicapped Mr. Edwards? <laughs> Mr. Simmons? He's rubbish. But he might enjoy the wet weather. So I don't know. It might be a good shot. And finally, Mr. Thomas. No, it's Mr. Brown. I don't know why. He's got good odds. Bet on him. That's signing off from Bet John for this year. A bientôt, mes amis.